What's that say? I don't know. Tim Hortons Camp Day. Did you go there? I don't know. No? My car's in a mud hole, though. Is it? Yeah, it's a pit mouse news shop. My car's in a mud hole. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Well, I got stuck. I was going down a back road and going through, through mud and stuff. I turned around and went to go turn the other way around and I got stuck. You were off roading? Yeah. Well, something like that. But they had two in Serena out there. That's why. That's why I got stuck. How far did you have to walk? About eight miles from the farm. My dad's farm. Then my motor blew up when I trapped it in a uh, bike later. I'd walked another 10 miles. <laughs> I put it later in Chamberlain, dart right down the highway, I, I, I followed all the way to Chamberlain, walking down the highway. I had my hand out and everything, walking down the highway, had my trying to catch the right. They wouldn't even pull over. Buggies. Really? That was, a, that was a walking experience I had. More blue right up from traffic. You sit on the highway. Did you get your car unstuck? No. Still, still in the mud hole. Did you get back to town? Oh, bus. We're down the highway and bus. Bus stopped and picked you up? Yeah, Chamberlain. For free? Didn't you know, 20 bucks I had on it. Uh, 12 bucks for a bus ticket. So, they got a bus stop in Chamberlain. So, and, yeah, so I need that. Uh, I thought, oh yeah, I went 50 miles for a battery. I thought the battery might be bugging me. I went 50 miles for a battery. Because I had a battery in my intrepid. And, and I thought I'd put that back to the intrepid into mine, into mine, so I thought the battery might be buggered, but it wasn't. The battery's not buggered, so it should take right off my car, so it's in a mud hole. You're not one of those guys that rides on the bus and chops people's heads off, right? No, no. <laughs> Do you have dreams about it? No, no I still miss it though, but I got keys in my pocket though. Yeah, I left my wallet, I left my wallet in the car. So that's another thing I did. Ooh. So I had to get another car, bank card made up. Car. I got my pin number and everything here. So that car you just bought is garbage? stuck. Stuck. No, 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 no. It still runs good. It's just stuck. Is it still gonna be there? Yeah. They, the rest of them doesn't put dirt in it. They, my brother puts dirt in it. They in usually tow cars when they get stuck, eh? My brother wrecks my vehicles. He puts dirt in my engines. I gotta keep the door locked all the time. Put dirt in his engine. Yeah. If I, don't, if I don't have the doors locked, you'll put dirt in the engine. Put dirt in his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I gotta watch out for my brother, so I gotta keep the car locked up. Because I don't need to blow up motor in six months. That car should last me for a couple of years at least. But I'm gonna give it 150 and I'm gonna give it 150 this, uh, this month. So I'm gonna buy another car in probably two months or three months. Well, I might give you 150 until fall. So You're like a car collector, eh? Yeah. How many cars did you have? I was well, intrepid. I, the motor blew in the, in, the, in the one I bought here. For the How do you know the motor blew? Oh, well, I don't know. I was going down the highway and it, I had smoke in the car and smoke I asked in. And oh. All that. There's a little Daytona sitting up here in the crowd. Yeah. A little gold Daytona. 350 bucks. Yeah. I saw the people should sell those vehicles for 150 bucks. For me, they should pull out for me those vehicles. Might, might have a caravan for you. <laughs> people should pull them out for me. I'd buy a car for 150 bucks. Yeah. But some of those motors are not that too good in 150 dollar cars. So 150 dollar cars, they're not, the motors are not that great in them sometimes. Unless they put a new motor in them. Or 300, they're selling for 300. I just need a car like that. Salesman, you know, Kansas City car lot. I was in there talking to them, and I told them they should sell this car for 150 bucks. People should, I said. So the salesman. How's that I'm male prostitution thing going? <laughs> I'm a cheapskate for vehicles. Shouldn't you have a lot of money if you're a male prostitute? Well, that too, but I drink beer all the time, but still, I, I got I turn girls down. Though. Oh. I, I turn a couple girls down. You turn them down? Yeah. yeah. How come? Oh. Well, Why'd you turn them down? Were they? I turned down. No one wanted a stool. I turned them down. What's a stool? The uh, bar stool. There was about five chicks sitting there. Oh. She's black though. She had black. She, you know, uh, Indian black. 
that I asked for my stool, but she was sitting with five girls. So, I could have got laid there, maybe five girls, I could have walked home. <laughs> so. Right on. What happened to your haircut? Um, I got stuck in my car. And I was going to come back to Moostra and get a haircut, but I got stuck in my car. Is it the police to pick up my traffic down the highway? No? Oh. Huh. So. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not the caravan that might be for sale here in the next little while. Gotcha. How much? It's nice. It's a nice vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could make it an apartment. Yeah, I'm gonna give you 150 all summer. Yeah. I'm gonna give you 150 all summer. You should have a thousand bucks saved up in the fall if I 